another race that's making headlines during the campaign. This is the state superintendent of public instruction. The current Oklahoma Secretary of Education, Ryan Walters, with 57% of the vote. Again, the projected winner here over Gina Nelson, a longtime teacher in Oklahoma City. She was statewide teacher of the year. Now you'll remember Joy Hoffmeister left that seat to run for the governor's mansion, and it has been a tight race to find her replacement. We have team coverage at both candidates' watch parties. We begin with two new senior reporter Justin Ayer. He's live in Oklahoma City tonight from the Republican camp. Justin, Ryan Walters has been a pretty vocal candidate this election cycle. What are you hearing tonight? <laughs> Well, Karen, you're absolutely right. He is fired up right now. I'm actually standing right next to him right now. Mr. Walters, how are you feeling after that big win? You know, it was a great night. We heard loud and clearly from Oklahomans tonight. They rejected Joe Biden's view of America, and they said they want to empower families. They want transparency brought to our education system, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So you have two months until you transition into the new role on day one. What is it that you are going to do? I'm going to audit the department and I'm going to show and look into every program and every dollar and make sure there's no left wing indoctrination and make sure that everything is transparent so taxpayers can see it and also make sure that every dollar is spent in the best use of, of, of needs of our kids. We've got to get money to the classroom to our teachers and out of bureaucracy and so I'm going to do that with an audit on day one. Parents clearly, I mean, schools are always a top concern for them. They're worried sometimes about Oklahoma schools. How do you ease that worry for these parents? Transparency. Transparency is key. Parents need to see what's being taught in our schools and also how money is spent in the schools. And then they need to be empowered, empowered with options so they can choose what's best for their kid. That is how we get education back to where parents want it for their kids. Okay, to our viewers right now, sir, what do you want to tell them? right now. I'm going to work tirelessly till every child has access to a high quality education. I want to empower you, the parent, and your kids' education. And teachers, I want to get more money to the classroom and pay our highest performing teachers a lot more money by getting that money out of bureaucracy and getting it in the classroom. And I'm going to continue to fight to do that. And last quick, last question. Uh, what do you want to say uh, to Gina, your opponent? Yeah, I mean, she, she ran a great race, you know, but Oklahoma spoke loudly. The Democrat vision has been rejected. We believe in parents, not government. We believe that every learner is unique and needs to be given that opportunity to be successful. And we believe that radical indoctrination has no place in the classroom. The voters spoke loudly and clearly tonight. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Well, do you have it, Karen, the new Oklahoma superintendent of public instruction. We'll send it back to you. All right, that's our Justin Ayer reporting live from Oklahoma City. Now, 2 News Oklahoma, Shay Smith is continuing our team coverage from the Democrats camp tonight. Shay, any word from Gina Nelson? Karen Gina Nelson did take the stage about 20 minutes ago, and although it wasn't the outcome that she was expecting, she did talk about unity, actually, and the fact that Republicans and Democrats need to get, come together as one as part of being Oklahomans. Now, during her speech, she started by saying that they came closer than some people thought was even possible. She said that they sent a message loud and clear that teachers belong anywhere, decisions about being about education are being made. She went on to say she ran for state superintendent because she believes public education saves lives, and she encouraged her supporters to keep writing to legislators and keep being involved with local school boards. Don't let, let, don't let the lack of wind tonight extinguish your spark. Our kids are worth fighting for, and the next four years are going to require us all to come together. I've said it over and over again. It is time to put the divisiveness that all of us are seeing across our state aside to work together, to build communities, to build our state. And we don't do that by teams Democrat or team Republican. We do that by becoming team Oklahoma. And there you have it, her just really talking about coming Great together question. for the students here in Oklahoma um, and teachers and educators, despite your party affiliations. And she also went on to say that although she will not be the new state superintendent, she will always be an advocate for the state of Oklahoma and the profession that she loves and also the students, the more than 700,000 students here in Oklahoma. Now, Nelson did not take any questions before she left on the stage. Live in Oklahoma City, Shay Smith, 2 News, Oklahoma.